In this help tutorial, we'll look at graphing inequalities on a two-dimensional plane. In this case, we look at graphing y is greater than 1 half x plus 3. Our first task is to draw the boundary line. So I pick up the line tool, and I draw a line, the y-intercept of 3, and a slope of 1 half. Now if we click outside the line here, you'll see we have now a solid line, but I need this to be a dashed line. So I'll click on this again to edit it, and down here in the bottom of the graph pad, you'll see we have the option for a solid line or a dashed line. So I'm going to change that to dashed because of the greater than sign here. Now we need to choose which side of the boundary line to shade. So we choose the fill tool over here on the right hand side of the graph pad. The fill tool is essentially a toggle on or off option. So we can either choose to fill by clicking or to not fill by clicking. So on either side, I can choose fill or not fill by clicking once. To get out of the Fill Tool option, we choose the Pointer Tool. Suppose we choose to graph this using a slightly different method. In this case, plotting some points first at 0, 3, 2, 4, and 4, 5. Then we draw in our boundary line, connecting those points and change it to a dashed line and fill on the appropriate side. Now this graph will actually be graded wrong because it is incorrect. As a dashed boundary line, it cannot have plotted points on it. These plotted points would not be solutions of this equation. So be careful, if you do this, you need to go back in and delete those points off. To do that, choose the pointer tool and choose the points and delete them. Now this graph would be graded as correct. Now we'll look at graphing a system of inequalities in a two-dimensional plane. First, I need to graph the boundary lines for the first and second inequality. Here's the boundary line for the first inequality. I graph this the same way I would normally graph a line. So there's my line. My boundary line for the second inequality, I choose again that I want a line. And this one has a y-intercept of 5 and a slope of negative 1. So I go ahead and plot that using two points. And then the second line I need to switch to a dashed boundary line. So I'll switch that using the dashed option down here. For my last step, I need to decide which region of this to fill. There are four regions now to fill. I could choose this region, this region, this region, or this region, again by clicking once inside of that region. In this case, I would choose this region right here. Again, to exit the Fill tool, click on the Pointer tool.